Hello everybody, how are you doing? I am really excited about turning this blank today. This is a laser cut puzzle blank. It is one of two blanks that I prepared for you in a video that I did um, in, regarding how to prepare these blanks for turning. I'll uh, put a link to that in the comments of this video. I'm very excited about turning this one. I can't wait to give it a spin. It's ready to go. So uh, let's get to it. This blank turned and sanded extremely well. Uh, you might notice some little discolorations between the pieces. Uh, what that is, we did flood this blank with CA prior to turning it. Uh, however, there are some little low-lying areas between the pieces and those cover are uh, filled in with dust. So I'm gonna use a toothbrush to see how they brush away. I'm gonna try to get rid of as much of that dust as I can. And then we'll come back and uh, use denatured alcohol to clean the blank and we'll begin applying our CA finish. Just that little bit of brushing with a soft bristled toothbrush made a world of difference. Now I'm gonna wipe the blank with some denatured alcohol. See all, all of the dirt that comes off of that blank? This will take just a second or two for that DNA to evaporate. And when it does, We'll come back with our acetate brush. We'll get all of the uh, lint from the paper towel off of the blank, and we're ready to start applying CA. The denatured alcohol has evaporated, and we're just gonna make sure we brush any lint off this blank. You do not wanna touch the blank once you've cleaned it with denatured alcohol because there is oil in your skin, and that oil will get on the blank, and it can cause issues with your finish. First coat of thin CA going on. We're gonna follow our normal regiment of applying CA to this blank. We'll do that off camera, and then I will come back and show you the blank once it's been micro-meshed, and we'll look for any low-lying areas between the pieces, which we will fill with additional coats of CA. It is worth taking your time with these blanks and putting a little extra care into making sure you get your surface nice and smooth because it, they are gonna pop, and this blank is going to get a lot of attention uh, from everybody who sees it when you carry it around and uh, pull it out of your pocket. The blank looks really nice after applying my CA finish. What I am noticing now is there are some low areas and I fully expected that. I mean, when you have a cut that goes all the way down to the tube, that takes a lot of CA to fill that. So we're gonna end up putting a few more coats of CA on our blank. What I'm doing now though is some of those low areas collected the slurry from the micro mesh pads. So I'm just giving this blank a very thorough cleaning with denatured alcohol to try to remove as many of those little white spots of slurry as I can. All right, we're gonna let that flash off and uh, we're gonna add five more coats of medium CA. We'll micro mesh it, come back and take a look at it. This blank is gorgeous. I ended up putting eight coats of medium CA on the blank. And uh, the reason why I settled on eight was I got to five and before I micro meshed, I took a close look at the blank and I could see some low areas. So I just added another coat, checked it again and did the same thing two more times. Uh, and finally the blank looks amazing from end to end. So I went ahead and micro meshed it. Now we're gonna 
get it on the buffing wheels, and I'll meet you at the assembly table. Let's jump right into the assembly of our blank. We're gonna start out by deburring both ends of the blank. And then we always wanna clean out the inside of our tube to make sure there are no remnants of uh, dust or brass filings in the tube. This is gonna to be tough because we have to decide where to put the clip. This blank is absolutely gorgeous and I just hate to cover up any of the pieces, but I know we have to, uh, have to apply the cap in the clip, so we'll just randomly grab a spot. The kit we are using is the Elegant Monarch Gunmetal and Gold from Classic Nib. It is one of my absolute favorite. See how that's going a little bit crooked? By rotating the blank, we were able to see that, and we've now made a correction, and we can finish pressing. But to get back to it, this is the Gunmetal and Gold Elegant Monarch Joshua Band from Classic Nib, one of my absolute favorite kits. It is gorgeous, and it is really gonna set this pin off. You've seen me assemble these a 100 times. Nothing's changed. We're just gonna put our pieces together, work our transmission. Let's get that little ball off the ink, and we can assemble this into the body. With my pin assembled, I noticed something. I'm not able to rotate the nib and eject or retract the ink. Taking the uh, nib out and looking in the blank, I can see right there, there is either CA or epoxy inside of my blank. So I'm gonna grab a file and we're gonna clean that out and we should be able to straighten this right up and get our pen working normally. You've gotta watch for that. That's why we use the Play-Doh to try to uh, keep the glue out of the blank but it still sometimes manages to get in there. So let's clean that up. This is a chainsaw file. You can pick them up at your big box store. I like to use these because they're usually a fairly high quality file and they don't taper. They're the same dimension from end to end. Now it's much easier to file a blank without the cap in there, but I think the uh, area we're having trouble with is close enough to the uh, front of the pen here that we should be able to go ahead and file it right out. And you can see the white on my finger. That is probably CA glue. Look at that. All right, let me dust it out of there real good. Let's try again. Hopefully she works well. If not, we'll adjust one more time. Still a little bit of drag. It's working much better now, but there's a tiny bit of drag. So I'm gonna take some more of it out. I'm gonna kind of focus around the end. Whoops, I wanna watch and make sure that doesn't roll off my table. Focus around the end of the blank here. Oh, perfect, absolutely perfect. We've got a beautiful fit. I'm just feeling around the pin, feels wonderful. That is a gorgeous pin. And when this gets pulled out of a pocket and used, people are going to notice it. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me while I turned this gorgeous 21 piece puzzle blank. There are 21 different pieces of wood in this blank, each a puzzle piece that interlocks into the next piece. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. I don't want you guys to be apprehensive about turning these laser kits. They actually are very easy to turn as long as you take a little time to prepare them and understand that there's gonna take a little more time to finish them, you know, because you have uh, the, the depth of the wood to the tube is wide open and it's gotta be filled. Um, we had one little issue with this blank and that is some glue in the tube. That's not an issue with the tube, the kit or the blank. That's a Bob issue. Uh, I ended up smearing some glue in there somehow. It happens once in a while. Chainsaw file took care of it, and we have a gorgeous pen that anybody would be proud to have in their pocket. Thank you for joining me. If you are interested in getting one of these pens, and I strongly urge you to, or getting one of these blanks, I strongly urge you to check out uh, Rick Cobb and Kenneth Wine's site. I will put a link to that in the description of this video. So check it out. and. Don't be scared to try one of these. Take your time, go slow, know they're a little extra work, a little more of a challenge, but what's gonna happen, you're gonna up your pin game and you're gonna up your skill level. So it's 100% worth it. Uh, also, this kit, if you are interested, Classic Nib, they are wonderful. They have some of the best kits on the market. I'll also put their information 
in the description below. And remember, this is the Monarch Joshua Band, one of my favorite kits. And if you go to either of these companies and purchase something from them, please tell them you heard about them from RJB Woodturner. I want them to know that I'm promoting them. They are mom and pop shops and they are there to serve and support us. And they're all turners, they're wonderful people. And uh, we need to let them know that uh, I'm spreading a little love. And if you guys buy from them, you're spreading a little love. Hey, thank you so much for joining the shop today. I want you to know you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.